This is the Matt Al Alchemist again, and I was just watching the Atheist Debates with uh, Matt, and he had some really good points, and I, I liked it. It was about labels and debating, debating labels, and, uh, and that, you know, Atheist means not having a belief. Well, in common usage, and uh, I think that a lot of people avoid using this term or don't associate with the term atheist because they don't feel like defending it. That, that it's a label they don't feel emotionally connected to. And a lot of theists will use it to derail a conversation. Or being out there as an atheist exposes people to um, I don't want to say bigotry, but definitely some level of discrimination. And you know, a lot, I mean, come on, you can't be a politician and be an atheist. What is there like one in the Senate? And there's like two agnostics. I think there's three people that are non out as being non religious. So it can very much affect your career. Um, especially if you live in like Kissimmee or in the South. Um, you don't want to associate yourself with a label you don't feel personally connected to, so you don't feel like defending it. And yeah, I think I think that a lot of theists do that on purpose, um, since they can't back up their claim, they just derail the conversation. And I know people sophists, if you want to call it. I don't know. They're being sophists, and. But I, I've seen this tactic used before in all kinds of things, like trying to explain science to people, and they're like, well, and they derail the conversation, because you can derail a conversation by, like, picking on something, and, like, the, and I'm actually thinking of something that actually happened before, but the person kept derailing it into explain how electrons work. Whoa, whoa, don't use fancy physics words for that. Uh, don't expect me to uh, become educated enough in the field that you're... I'm asking a question that requires a detailed explanation, uh, but I don't want to have to have the foundation to understand the answer and such derail the conversation. Um, and from my experience, and maybe others, theists do this, is they find something to derail the conversation. Whatever your point that you're trying to make, find something, derail the conversation, declare success. You failed to prove whatever it was that you were trying to express. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. You watch Atheist Debates. It's good.